Well, hello everybody. Good morning one more time from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa. The reason you see this kind of dessert is because we are here just a few minutes before opening time so we can take a look at some, some rigs that we haven't yet shown you. And uh, which, by the way, this was probably the last video that I'm going to do here from the Florida uh, State Fairgrounds this year. So, um, yeah, because by the time you watch this, the Saturday meetup will probably have happened already. So anyway, we're going to start with New Camp, which is right here at that canopy right there. Well, here, here we are, New Camp, mainly famous for, for teardrops here which are, you know, very peculiar, very, uh, very unique design. And, um, and we've seen this blue barefoot before, but this year they came with a pink barefoot. So let's check it out real quick here. Okay, here we have this pink, light pink barefoot. A show price forty one nine nine five, and this is fiberglass. This would be virtually indestructible. Here we have um, at the entrance. Well, we have a closet, wardrobe closet, even a little bit of storage up there, and uh, down here as well. This is of course a very small teardrop. I haven't, I don't have, I know exactly, uh, you know, like dimensions and stuff like that. But and I don't even know how to turn on the lights in here. There we go. Um, here's the wet bath, like I said, toilet down there, and uh, yeah, as you can see, even at my height, 5'10", this is, this is one where you would have to take a shower sitting down the toilet, for sure. Yeah. Here we have, as you sit down, we have a mirror, a towel holder, your shower, which doubles as, um, as a faucet for the sink. Back here we have this U-shaped area where you can sit down and I'm sure it converts into a bed. You can also put a pedestal table down there. Here we have a refrigerator, which is of course 12 volt. Everybody is going 12 volts. Drawer here. Here we have a, I mean, for, for the amount of storage you get here, it's a, it's a relatively shallow sink but look at the size of this thing right here we have the barefoot it's a 16 7 exterior length with 6 7 exterior height 8 1 and uh, i want to see the weight T tongue weight uh, dry 203 total gross weight dry 21 29 this is dry weight 21 29 which is very light you could tow this with pretty much any suv i think all well, this would turn into a bed. We have some storage up here. Some more storage back here. Well, this, this ceiling is... There's no air conditioning on the ceiling. I believe this one has an air conditioner below. You have, we have type A USB. I would like to see type C USB. Here we have a 12 volt and a power. And uh, let me see what it has. Oh, this one has Aldi central heat and hot water system and central air conditioner. It's just not on the roof. I mean, it's, it's uh, something different, something uh, that, you know, and we have these shades. We have the, the European style windows that we saw on the, on the Winnebago Echo and the view has them too. You know, it's this type of, oh, I can't, you see, you can, how come? Okay, here we go. It has several positions, right? You have one position there, you can make it even higher, or just leave it cracked open as it is right now, or close it completely. Uh, here we have our controls. You know, it has a fresh black gray. I don't know tank dimensions here or letting them. Okay, here we go. Gray water 17, fresh water 23, which is actually not bad for something of this size. Of course, black water is five gallons which is not quite five gallons because that's a cassette toilet so it's uh, i think it's in liters 20 liters which translates to, to like 4.7 gallons or something like that let's see what else outside you have power outlets out here and overall the, the main thing here it's is the unique design i'm sure this is going to be a 
a head turner, a conversation starter at the campground. Not a whole lot of exterior um, storage that I can see, but check it out. Ooh, wine rack. And here we have more, you know, awning light. The, this, that's the, the awning light right there. Coat hanger on the door. And storage bag. Oh, that's the cassette toilet. Okay. Well, we just heard the national anthem, so that means the, the show has officially started for today. By the way, this is not a new camp. This is a mini, mini max. Very cute. Actually, let, let's take a look at it since we're here. <clears throat> it's on a, on a BAL uh, chassis there. And I like the, the wraparound on this one. Aftermarket accessories available. And let's take a quick look. In this one, at least, you know, it's, um, we fit inside. I like that huge window. It's very similar, you know, U-shaped. This one does have a lagoon table. And, you know, um, if you're in the market for one of these, let me know because, you know, this, this one is very functional, actually. We have a two burner propane here. And let's just do the bathroom test real quick which this one is a, is a wet bath, but, oh, we're familiar with this uh, domestic uh, plastic toilet and uh, it would be a stretch, but I fit, I fit standing up. <laughs> Maybe if I remove my shoes and my hat, I'll fit. Well, we are now here at Leisure Travel Vans and this is a new floor plan, I believe, for this year. Uh, it is a new corner bed. Uh, MSRP 200 and no, 230. Why well, would MSRP be less than today's price? I don't know. In any case, this is a new corner bed uh, floor plan on the, of course, the Mercedes a chassis here. And what they changed, they changed the dinette. It's now like a lounging dinette here. And uh, that's a lot of storage down here. And uh, the lagoon table that this could also be turned into a sleeping uh, uh, area. And of course, it is one of those where if you put the slide all the way in, you still have a lot of room here. Uh, to the, the slide is just an extra amenity to have extra room in here. You can put a pedestal table there. Um, I would like to see a counter extension here, but we don't have one. Uh, we have a little bit of prep space here two burner propane you know storage up here for for plates and whatnot this would be your pots and pans drawer another one down here that would be a place to put your garbage can most more than anything and there you have access to some of the plumbing and this is the corner bed i mean it is your travel band they, they really have beautiful designs here um, this is the pull-out pantry, which is a very, lots of room here, and, uh, and up here, and back here is the corner bed, which is not for everyone, but I think, you know, if you want to have a permanent bed solution, this, is, this might be one of those. I do believe this one has uh, storage below, maybe not, yeah, it's, a, it's like, a, like a hinge, maybe on this side you can get down there, I'm not gonna try to break anything here, you know, ducted AC. Now we have a Norcold 12 volt refrigerator with a freezer down here, convection microwave. Here's your wardrobe closet. And here's the bathroom. I mean, the sink is kind of small, but it has a very nice mirror here. Medicine cabinet up here. And for the reference, I'm 5'10 and the shower, you know, and I'm wearing shoes. And, you know, six feet tall, you could probably fit. I mean, Dean fits in here, so you could probably fit too. And the bathroom does have a curved door here. Very nice, actually. Multiplex wiring. I believe all this, all the leisure travel vans now have the multiplex wiring with this screen here where you can control everything and there's an app there's an app for that too 
the TV is on a swivel, so even though right here is not the best possible position for you to watch TV, if you put it on the swivel and you move it a little more this way, that'd be better. And the oh, the 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 the, the, the sound bar is attached to the TV, so it, it would move with the TV. Yeah, overall, I like it. This type of this type of corner bread floor plan, it's uh, it's a very classic design, but um, uh, it's a, it's a good floor plan if you want to have a permanent table and a permanent bed. And this is the 60th anniversary edition. Actually, this is the new one. I th I thought that one was the new one, but this is the new one, the one with the lounge chairs. And uh, let's check it out. All right, the back is very similar to what we just saw. Actually, the shower looks kind of cooler. But uh, the main thing here is this two lounge chairs here. And uh, yeah, because I'm sure there's a button somewhere to put this up. And, uh, and of course, you have a little table that comes up here. Well, it's not a table, it's, you know, it's cool. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's cool. And that's going to slide out here, of course. But even with the slide in, this rig is completely usable, which is a good thing. All right, so yeah, that's that's the new thing, the, the lounge dinette. Well, A-Liner has always been famous for their A-shaped, you know, uh, RVs, but now they have this teardrop, which is pretty cool. $42,999, here we have an induction cooked up. And I believe this is the one that is all electric. Um, there's not a whole lot of information here at this moment, but this is the Grand Escape Plus, 224. And uh, microwave, here we have our hood. We have some, some storage up here and up here, you know, U-shaped uh, with a lagoon table. You can make this into a bed. I mean, it's, um, I think the main thing on this one is what's under the hood. Here we have a cassette toilet, third, fourth cassette toilet that you remove from the outside. And this, oh, this is it. It has an EcoFlow and we've seen these EcoFlow um, devices, units, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, here are all your fuses and everything, and the EcoFlow. And the EcoFlow, it's uh, has a large. It's it, it's one of those uh, um, power stations, you know, that has a large. Uh, you know, it's it's all self-contained. It has a large lithium battery. It has um, an inverter and a pure sine wave inverter, and then you have all your plugs, so you can plug all your stuff in. And uh, although this is a different one than the one we've seen, this was more integrated into the unit. All right, I think that's the main thing on this one, that it's all electric and it has um, the power systems. I don't know if you, if you tow it with an EV, it'll help the EV, it'll help your range. I don't know exactly uh, all those details, but, you know, especially in trailers, lithium batteries, inverter, and all that good stuff, is, it seems to be a trend. Still, and here we have Intec, and as you know, I've been a fan of Intec for for a while because they have this. I mean, I like the the shape, and uh, they all are named after astral uh, uh, bodies like Terra for Earth, Luna. There's a Sol for Sun. So let's see if they have any new floor plans here for. Oh, and that's a new one. Okay, here we have a new floor plan floor for the Terra, which this is the original Terra. And this is a smaller version of the Terra. And uh, you know, I, I, what I love about, love about Intec, you know, a, a lot of things are, they look marine grade in there. Everything is sealed and very, very, very good construction. Here, there we have a, an outside kitchen, solid steps here. And the other thing about uh, uh, all these Intecs, I love that huge uh, panoramic window there in the front. And here we have our, our dinette, kind of U-shape-ish, very nice. Our TV here, perhaps, well, that's not a bad position if you're sitting down here. For those folks sitting down there, it's maybe you could put a mirror here. Uh, but 
you know, very open, open floor plan here with huge windows everywhere. Here we have a front east-west bed, storage, storage everywhere. Here we have our, actually for it being the smaller uh, Terra, actually, I think it's pretty good. Let me see if we do, well, this, the, 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 old, the other Terra had a, a dry bath and this one has a wet bath. But then again, you know, it's a, it's a smaller unit and you get great utilization of space here. I like the fact that, you know, they have a cover for it. I mean, and as, as far as, as, as wet baths go, this one is one of the larger wet baths I've seen. <laughs> um, nice mirror here. Yeah, these are beautiful. As you can see, the, the bathroom, everything, all is sealed here with a, with a rubber gasket. So, and that's part of the, you know, the, the, the smart design of these uh, rigs. This is the... Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah, this is this is a this is an intact thing. They they usually m most RVs put all the power components down there. Uh, intact puts them up here, and that's your your battery disconnect and your and your and your fuses, and that is good. First of all, down there has better chance of getting wet if there's something would happen, and up there is more accessible. You you don't have to like, yeah. I like. I like, and this year, for, uh, very timely, they decided to call one of the Soul, like Soul Eclipse. By the way, that Terra Rover, 65995, and now for 59995, we have this one. This one is larger, and the, this is the, the OVR. I bet you has some kind of, uh, and this is kind of a different uh, aesthetic. You don't have that panoramic window uh, in, on the front, although you do have a very nice skylight here, walk around bed. Um, storage i mean I'm, I'm not gonna go in, in too much depth in these rvs i mean this is the last day of the for me of the rv show so um but uh, you have bedroom lights you have is this usb or 12 volt it is usb type a i'd like to see type c just because i mean we're in a, we're in an era of transition right now when it comes to technology like that okay this one has the split bathroom this is a dry bath this would be your toilet and your sink. Very nice mirror, actually. Well, hello, everybody. And on this other side, you have the shower. And it is big. It's pretty big. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And here's like to put your toiletries. Actually, very smart. This is very smart, uh, you know, uh, um, type of storage here. Refrigerator to burn a propane sink, and here we have this U-shaped uh, area. Where's the TV? Well, that's uh, uh, unless it really swivels all the way here, then yeah. But in that position, not great. All right, let's continue. All right, this one is the Forge, thirty-nine nine nine five. Forge Flyer. This is a. Uh, Different approach, it's a toy hauler, the sofa back there, you know, the bunk bed. Hmm, very cool. All right, this one is the Forge, 39995. Forge Flyer, this is a different approach, it's a toy hauler, the sofa back there, you know, the bunk bed. Hmm, very cool. Well, here we are at Numar, and as you know, Numar is known for big rigs, diesel pushers, and now here we have a Super C. So, let's see what it, what it looks like. This is the 2024 Super Class C Motor Coach. It has six options, and this is the 3731. Let's check it out. You know, Super Cs are cool. Okay, here we go. Super C's, of course, is like a C on steroids. And uh, this one is on the Freightliner chassis there. And I don't know much about Freight, you know, chassis and all that, but here we have your recliners in front of the, the TV on the left. So you can make it disappear if you want. Sound bar up there, storage everywhere. Fantastic fan. 
But the thing with the, even this early in the RV show, it is nearly impossible to see some of these rigs because there's a lot of people here. Well, here we are at Numar once again, and I've been told that this is the shortest tag axle they have here, 38 Mountaineer. I was talking to the folks from Numar and uh, our friends RV America, y'all, check them out. And uh, this one is on this nice Freightliner chassis with the, with the L LCD screen. And uh, take a look at this, this is beautiful out here. This is like bigger than an apartment. And we have our TV on the left and the dinette, but right in front of your recliners, where it should be. Nice mirror there, hello. Residential refrigerator, a sound bar, because you, you want it to sound good, right? And lots of prep area here in the kitchen. We have induction cooktops and dual sinks, a little drawer. Do we have, could this be? Yep, dishwasher, plenty of drawers here, storage of all your stuff. Huge, huge, humongous pantry here. Is, would, could this be like a wine rack? Huh. I don't know. Illy would love that. Here we have convection microwave and, um, and there's a second TV up there. Maybe see when you're on the road, you know, your co-pilot can be uh, watching TV or maybe not. <laughs> Here, even for, for a unit that is not quite a 45 footer, this is a 38 footer with a tag axle. We still have a mid coach, a half bath here for your guests because you, I mean, you don't want your guests to be going to your main bathroom, right? Here we have one of those uh, screens that controls the, the whole coach. I mean, you wouldn't have it any other way at a, at a coach like this. And I like doing this because sometimes you can just turn everything off or turn everything on and it didn't do anything, so maybe living room off on the net. You know, you could change every, all, every, all your settings and then you can see your status, you know, your fresh, your tanks, your battery, everything there. Here's the bedroom, you know, king size bed here. I wonder if it has storage. Yeah, it does have storage underneath. Lots, you can fit a lot of stuff down there. Besides another TV, so you can watch TV while you're in bed. And this ceiling, you know, it's it's very nice, very very good acoustics in here as well. Here we have our bathroom in the back, emergency exit right behind the toilet. Of course, this uh, you know electronic flush, washer and dryer. And this is you know what I call the epitome of luxury here. All these, you know, uh, uh, large class A's and uh, perhaps someday I'll, I'll want to to upgrade to something like this, right? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of myself like being small and, and nimble, but of course there's, there's something for everyone and there's something to be said. I mean, this is not camping. A lot of people tell me, why do people have one TVs when the, this is not clamping, this, this is not camping, this is glamping. This is where like, where, where you want to take your house. This is a full timers rig. When you take, I'm sure there's a good way to open this, but I don't know it. I mean, at some point I'm gonna get it, right? But. Maybe it's just a strong magnet, but uh, there we go. It is a strong magnet. I didn't want to break it, you know. But look at this. This is something that we have done in our rig aftermarket. But these dispensers are very convenient for your soap, conditioner, and shampoo. And here you have a very options on the shower. You know, you have your, like a fixed one, and then the wand, and then um, a bench that can flip up. You have a, a handicap bar, I mean, all kinds of options here in the bathroom and I didn't even check if I fit but <laughs> there's plenty of headroom there yeah this is a lovely unit and the decor and uh, and the way it looks you know it feels very very residential here and then when the time comes to go you just bring all your slides in and I'm sure there's gonna be a, 
a narrow path to get to at least this bathroom. And then, you know, and the refrigerator, the two main things you want to have access to while you're on the road. And, um, and then happy trails. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's Robert! Yes, it is. <laughs> Here, of course, we have our friends at Electric Bikes. I can't get over this. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, when the sun, oh, when the sun, refuse to shine. Refuse to shine. Oh, when the sun, refuse to shine. Oh, I want to be in the number of half time when the sun. Here we have Northern Lights, but uh, I mean, there's so much here that you can only go into so many of them. And I think we've done enough for this year. So we're just walking around, and if something really pikes our interest, we're going. We've got live music at the RV show. <laughs> Only at the Florida RV Super Show. live music and this is pretty much it for the 2024 florida rv super show i mean it's been it's been a, a great show an exhausting show and i'm gonna i'm gonna leave you with this final image just in case i get to release this video before tomorrow or before saturday at noon we're gonna be here saturday at 12 30 p.m at the, I think they call it the Influencers Barn, so. And uh, if you watch this after Saturday, 12.30 p.m., well, we're gonna be gone. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. And see you on the road in Florida. Riding in my arms